September 7, 2012, 9.25 p.m. This is going to be a personal chat. I just wrote down some things that will be used part of my campaign and part of my ideological uh, uh, foundation for uh, for what I plan to do. And uh, Okay, this is what I wrote. It's pretty good, I think. Uh, the fundamental rules and ideals that this great country was founded upon are no longer present in today's local, county, and state government. We no longer hold the words for and by the people ideal that the original framers of the Constitution were prepared to die for. That is, we no longer have a government for and by the people on the local, county, and state level. We have uh, we have uh, an, I guess, uh, an industrial business managing customers on the local, county, and state level. The people that we have on our local, county, and state level are only there to serve their own interests and the interests of their families and friends, not the interests of their respective citizenry. If George Washington was alive today and saw the state, the local, county, state government of New Jersey, I strongly believe he would mobilize an army and take back the governments, right back to the hands of the people. Our local county state government is compromised. There is no integrity. There is no higher standard. There is no desire for nothing less short than ex of. There's nothing less. Uh, there is no desire for nothing less than excellence or short. Uh, I have to reword that. There is no honesty. There is no trust. There is no accountability. No compassion. No love, and certainly no representation. I do not know how we got to this point. I just know that we are here at this point and that we lack and that we even lack the capable citizens that we need today to step up to the plate to begin solving yesterday's and today's problems. Over the number of years that this industrial business has been growing and manifesting inside the halls of local, county and state government, it has systematically and method methodically applied effort to discourage if not outright <clears throat> if not outright deny the basic rights and responsibilities that come with being a citizen of this great nation I'm not here to build friendship or or do favors I'm here to represent the interests of the people as we are government of by and for the people so that's part of my uh, I don't know my, might be part of my introduction uh, that will be together. Uh, but no, I'm sorry. Okay, this is what I want to say. Before, when I, you know, even with this, uh, I had this idea that um, I should, if somebody, for instance, wants to call me a name or to say something nasty to to, to me in some of the comments of my videos, I thought that it was best for me to kind of allow that, uh, in hoping that. You know this person has some serious issues and I don't want to uh, be the one to deny them this this expression that they have because I was hoping on that it would maybe possibly alleviate their um, their emotional I guess psychological possibly even a physical uh, uh, basically they have a, a problem in their lives and that's why they do this uh, it makes them feel better maybe uh, and I just didn't didn't want to deny them that uh, that 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 right to express themselves. But what's been happening and what I do not like, which is when when uh, if someone were to do that, it kind of instigates uh, a situation where somebody who might support any of this that I do or believe in it, that they would naturally be uh, well, they would want to say something to that person like uh, you know you shut up or uh, don't say these types of things and I don't want to be putting those people that believe or support in a compromising position like that so what I'm going to be doing now starting now is if there is a nasty comment or uh, an unfruitful comment that doesn't really do anything positive other than give that person some sort of a a feeling of uh, being a bully or um, the and the like uh, I'll be just simply deleting that uh, because I don't want to put other people the decent people in a compromising situation and it's just a waste of time for them I don't want to waste their time and then they have to 
the, the reply to somebody and then it begins maybe some sort of a, a verbal uh, name calling war or whatever so I'll just be doing that uh, yeah yeah I kind of put a pause on my um, on my organization of, of some of my tech stuff but um, because I thought that the writing was more important uh, than I do uh, and the thinking that goes along with the writing uh, yeah. oh I heard back from uh, that uh, United States immigration and uh, uh, citizenship or naturalization government agency and they linked me to another website that uh, sells uh, that sells I guess civic uh, civic education or for the purpose of naturalization uh, information about uh, US history and the like and those little booklets cost about eight dollars each and my plan was to request fifty thousand of them at least uh, which would come out to the cost of four hundred thousand dollars and that's that's very unrealistic I don't have that kind of money and I don't expect to uh, raise that kind of money so what I will be forced to do is to take little bits from that and it would be part of a pamphlet that I would be uh, I guess mass producing and then hand it, handing that out uh, you know, that's, that, that's what the way it needs to be done unfortunately but you know, it makes me think, though, on the on the federal level, how you have certain politicians. You know, they raise so much money on their campaigns, the millions of dollars, millions upon millions of dollars that they raise, and what is it? Where does that all that money go? And it seems to go where it goes. To. It seems where where I think it seems to go is the creation of. Uh, 20 second, 30 second TV advertisements that are scientifically engineered to trigger emotional responses within the human brain of the citizens based upon either empirical data on, on, on data or on poll numbers based on like what people feel. So it's, it's designed to, it's scientifically engineered to trigger something within you and to say oh, I love Obama or I love Romney that that's very wrong uh, you're creating like these types of robots not not even that it's it's not even you, you wouldn't even be classified as a human being I think. Or, it's just I think I think it's very wrong personally I think it's very very wrong but that's the reality of the situation and uh, and that's why I'm doing this to try to address, hopefully, be able to address these the realities of today. Uh, because, like I mentioned with George Washington, I mean, if, if if somebody actually sits down and begins to look at American history, the framers of the Constitution, the ideals that everything was, the all these different times that that occurred through American history that required people to unite to solve the problems and all this all the bloodshed unnecessary bloodshed that occurred in American history that most people don't know I think today most people are not aware of the, of the bloodshed that America required to take to become what it is today yeah they might think that oh soldiers are dying in today's Iraq I'm not talking about that kind of bloodshed I'm talking about bloodshed of uh, uh, the, the Negroes, the black men that the black people took to get some kind of basic human rights. The women that took bloodshed to become able to be able to vote, to be able to be employed within workplaces. Women at some point were not allowed to work. If you were a woman, you, would not, you were not able to work. And that happens today in godforsaken areas of the world, the parts of the world that um, many of these things occurred. I'm not a, I'm not a constitutional scholar or a historian. I just know the basics. Somebody could spend their whole life, their whole life studying this. The millions upon millions of books, uh, 
experiences written down, different people's journals written down of different, all of this was happening. And it, most people don't know. Yeah, that's unfortunate, and that's the result of a, of a corrupt government. That's the result. But that's not the end. Like, it's not uh, enough, it's not hopeless. We're not hopelessly lost. It's just simply the fact of people stepping up. People just need to step up and do it. Do things the right way. Uh, will it take... Uh, it's it's going to take a lot of blood and sweat. But it's very possible. It's very realistic. And I mean, you see the, the, the framers of the Constitution, the original people of, of America, what they wanted to do to build a great country, they were prepared to die. And now I'm thinking in my head today, are the people in government that we have today, whether it be on the federal, state, local, county level, are they prepared to die for anything? I, it's very unrealistic. That's a very like unlikely answer. They're probably not. They like their lives. They get a nice job. People in government have nice jobs, especially politicians. They're, they're taken care of. And not to mention, they have ample opportunity to make a little extra on the side, if you know what I mean. And that's very wrong in my eyes, but it happens. And it, it happens way too much. That's why one of the things, the, the first thing that I, I plan on doing is to change the law where if, if a politician or somebody in government is found guilty of public corruption or embezzlement or whatever, something that they should not be doing, they, they go away for life. We don't need those types of people. They, after doing something like that, there's no possible way for that person to be able to do anything positive for society other than be put in a box for the rest of their lives. Because we're humane. I'm against killing people. No matter what, killing people is wrong. Um, I do have it suggested as the you know alternative if we cannot put them for life, possibly just killing them, firing range, legally the state has a, uh, can, um, what is it called, capital punishment. Individual states within the United States decide among, amongst themselves if they want to execute people. I don't know, I'm against something like that, but at the same time we have treason laws. If you do something that undermines the United States Constitution, uh, that's, that's treason. And uh, isn't that a treason? Government corruption. If somebody in government is committing government corruption, fraud, whatever, right? there's, a, there's a lot more to it. I need to read up on all the possible situations where it would be possible for a government official to commit some sort of a government corruption. Uh, isn't, that treason? isn't that what treason is? Or is treason just simply me knowing how to build a nuclear bomb going to Iran and telling the, new, the Iranian people how to build a nuclear bomb because I worked at the United States government and I was the one who built a nuclear bomb in the United States. I don't know. I'll find out. But I wanted to share that tidbit. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. No, I mean, you know, they, it's okay. You know, I don't want to worry people at the same time. But I, maybe some people this might be a lot. But unfortunately, that's how. Uh, that's why. I don't know. It's not the end of the world. That's what I wanted to say. It's, this is not a hopeless situation where there's no hope and it's. There's there's always not. There's always hope. Not hope. Not like I'm not using the word. There's always a a solution to a problem. There's no such thing, a, a problem, um, how do I put this? A problem is meant to be solved. That's how I want to, yeah, I guess so. Yeah, a problem is meant to be solved. You can solve a problem. This is a problem that we have. It's solvable. Very, you know, it just needs a, needs a lot of work, a lot of effort, and people. <laughs>